The germ of the idea was um, Paul Atanasio's germ from a um, New York Times column. Lisa Sanders wrote uh, a weekly, not a weekly column, but a, a, a recurring column for the New York Times mag Sunday magazine, uh, which I think was called Diagnosis or something like that, but it, Diagnosis right there. And um, it was her little stories from her practice and friends' practices of somebody coming in, something was wrong, I didn't know it was wrong. I, I gave it to a <clears throat> an obstetrician and they immediately knew it was wrong, but it's just like little medical mysteries in, in a page and a half. Um, and Paul thought that was a good idea. And I was, I was less certain. I was less certain it was a good idea. And we, so we were discussing that idea and other ideas. And then Paul was out for dinner and he saw Susan Line, who's then president of ABC, and um, mentioned it to her and she thought it was the greatest idea in the world. And so at that point, I thought it was a great idea too. So. Why were you less certain? What, what were your trepidations? My trepidations were, um, germs don't have motives, you know. Um, you don't watch. There's a lot of shows that are that are referred to as whodunits, and this actually, and this is a clever selling device. We we referred to this as a what done it, which, which sounds cool, um, and it, it was sold sort of as CSI in a, in a hospital or Law and Order, and or Law and Order were the germs of the suspects, and it, the networks were looking for their networks were looking for a procedural, and I don't mind doing a procedural as long as it's got interesting characters in it, but that really wasn't the issue then. My concern was we, we don't watch whodunits, and we certainly don't watch what whatdunits, interested in who or what, really. You know, the butler did it. Well, I don't care that it was a butler. What I care is that the butler did it because the, the lord of the manor was having an affair with the butler's wife or, or daughter. That's what I care about. I care about why the butler did it. That's what's interesting. That's what's surprising. That's what's human. And germs don't have motives. One germ doesn't commit, doesn't kill somebody because another germ was having an affair with the first germ's wife and then hides a knife underneath behind the spleen in order to get attention away from. That's not the way germs work. Germs just do what germs do. So there is, that was my concern. Um, it is very good for stakes. The show, I recognize the stakes. And I thought it'd be a good movie. Um, and so, oh my God, people are dying. We saved the day. That's interesting. Week after week after week, I worried that it would not be interesting week after week after week. And, and so I eventually sort of kept thinking about it and thinking about it, thinking about it, and then turning it back on itself and, and realizing it had to be about the patient and almost every episode of that show was not solved by just doing an MRI and stumbling on something. It was solved by hearing something from the patient that you realized that our people realized was a lie or a distortion of the truth or some, conf or some confession in some way and realizing, aha, it, the truth, the answer to the case almost always came from the patient's personal life, not from a blood test. So that's what I realized I had to turn it into that and I had to turn it into this character at the center of it. So it became, in many ways, I didn't think of it as a medical show ultimately. I, I, it was a show about people. It was a show. That's the stuff. You needed a good, strong medical story. You needed a good, strong mystery to hang your character stuff on. But that was the, it was really about the characters for me.